गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल ऑन द लाइन ऑन एस टी बी ए क्लासेस आई एम निधि भार्गव हेयर गोइंग टू टीच यू साइंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड फर्स्ट लेसन इन माई ऑल यू क्लासेस नाउ आई विल मूव ऑन टूवर्स द सेकेंड लेसन ऑफ एथ क्लास दैट इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फ्रेंड एंड फो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द टॉपिक दैट इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एज अ फ्रेंड एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एज अ फो फो मीन्स Enemy. What are microorganisms? All the living organisms which cannot be seen with the naked eye and which can only be observed under the microscope are called microorganisms. The microorganisms, if you want to see in your daily life, all of us are eating the bread. the upper bread and the lower bread usually we are not eating so you take that bread then soak it in water then take the bread in your palm squeeze it take out the water from it put that bread in some tiffin box leave it for 2 or 3 days after 2 or 3 days when you will open it you will see the cotton like a structure or the net like a structure which is light green in color that is the fungus and it is also a microorganisms the microorganisms can be unicellular or multicellular unicellular means single celled and multicellular means they consist of many cells the scientist who has studied about the microorganisms was a v leeuwenhoek in the year 16974 he has studied about it the people who study about the microorganisms are called the microbiologists and the study about the microorganism is called the microbiology now the question arises where do the microorganisms live they live all around us they are in the environment and they can live alone they can live in the groups the group of the microorganisms we call them as colonies as the microorganisms are living in environment they are living in air they are living in soil they are living in water all the water bodies like lakes rivers sea ocean the, the everywhere the microorganisms are present then they are living in the dead organism also they are living in our body also and they can exist in the extreme climates they are living in the hot uh, water springs they are living in the marshy places they are living in the polar regions and they can live in the deserts also you must not be surprised to know that whatever condition we are facing today which is in every year and on every tongue that is the corona virus that is also a micro organism see a small micro organism how it is spread all over the world and the whole world is suffering due to it the micro organisms are classified into five categories the first one is bacteria then virus algae then fungi some people used to call it fungi or protozoans
so i have shown you the various types of microorganism the very first i have talked about was bacteria these are the smallest living organisms which are present in the atmosphere they can be aerobic and anaerobic aerobic bacteria are those which the grow in the presence of oxygen anaerobic bacteria are those which grow in the absence of oxygen the mode of nutrition of the bacteria can be autotrophic or heterotrophic autotrophic means they can prepare their own food and when they cannot prepare their own food that type is known as heterotrophic the mode of reproduction is the binary fission in bacteria the examples of bacteria can be vibro coli e coli streptococcus now i move on to the next category that is the viruses virus when i talk about the virus the virus is the uh, virus means itself the poisonous liquid and uh, it is the smallest microorganisms they are acellular acellular means they do not have any material inside their body they can live they are themselves the non living but when they enter into the living body then they start taking the food from that body and they start reproducing and uh, then they start dividing into many cells the very common example of viruses are the present virus that is the corona virus hiv virus polio virus etc next is the category which is l algae are the sea weeds sea weeds means they are the cat uh, group of plants they have got the chlorophyll in them but they do not have the stem roots and leaves so as they have got the chlorophyll they can prepare their own food by themselves the example of algae are the volvox spirogyra clematomonas etc next category is the fungi or the fungi fungi are grouped as the adverse group different group of the organisms and they do not have the chlorophyll in them they lack the chlorophyll that means they cannot prepare their own food they live in the damp places in the moist places in the dark rooms and they feed on the dead things the dead organisms they feed on and they can be unicellular they can be multicellular the example of unicellular is yeast and multicellular is example is we can take the example of mushrooms mushrooms are multicellular next category is protozoans protozoans are the uh, ca different category it is the uh, first animal surviving and they are unicellular organisms microorganisms they involve in a separate kingdom called protista
the kingdom is known as protesta and uh, they can be saprophytic they can be parasitic uh, they uh, one exceptional case is there that is the euglena which has which contains chlorophyll in it, in it and it can prepare the food by itself the various examples of protozoans are amoeba paramecium and euglena itself